Hi everyone, this is Professor Sansom, and today we'll be talking about experiment number seven, the synthesis of an aqueous ferrofluid. In setting up this lab, the first thing you have to do is measure out the proper amounts of iron 3 chloride hexahydrate and iron 2 chloride tetrahydrate. This is a chance for you to put into practice what you learned when you passed off this skill. In particular, make sure that you remove your weigh boat before adding or removing the chemicals so you don't spill on the balance. And if you make a mess, clean it up. Once your iron solutions have been made, add a stir bar to the beaker and place it on a stir plate underneath your personal downdraft hood. Then you'll add 50 milliliters of one molar ammonia to the solution. It's important that you do this slowly, but not too slowly. It should take you about five minutes to add all 50 milliliters. After you've added the ammonia, you'll remove the stir bar using a magnetic wand. Sometimes we call it a magic wand. There's only one wand per lab room, so please be patient in waiting your turn to use it. Make sure that you wash off both the stir bar and the wand using a small amount of water before you pass it on. For this experiment, you'll need to check out a neodymium magnet from the stock room. One tricky part of the procedure is transferring the ferrofluid from the beaker into the plastic container. You'll use the magnet to help with this process. Make sure that when you're transferring your ferrofluid to the plastic container, that you put it in the clear, transparent container found on the shelves at the front of the lab room and not in the plastic container that the magnet came in. It's also important that your magnet doesn't come in direct contact with the ferrofluid because it's essentially impossible to remove if that happens. The tetramethyl ammonium hydroxide, which acts as the surfactant in this experiment, will be kept in one of the large fume hoods. Be careful when you're handling this chemical and add the one milliliter that's called for directly into your plastic container. Once you've finished synthesizing your ferrofluid, place the lid on the container and don't remove it until you're ready to dispose of the ferrofluid. Be creative in the activities you come up with to explore the properties of the ferrofluid and have fun. That's everything for Experiment 8. Thank you for watching and good luck.